Hi everyone, it's Avalon here. I haven't done a YouTube video in a very long time. Many of my videos have been based on healing, both holistically as well as when we are pregnant and offering midwife advice or what I prefer to call suggestions. Another part of this channel is based on empowered living and healing in a world that is set up to not heal. And when I say heal, we can go from a lot of different levels. We can go from a level of pure physical healing to where I'm going now to where it would be a healing of our emotional bodies, our soul bodies, where our spirit rises. I'm bringing this up because I am an advocate and an activist, I suppose, to those of us that have suffered from any form of violent, cruel, controlling behaviors in our lives that have shaped our footsteps as we go forward in our journey to live full, lovely, brilliant lives. Unfortunately, what I have found out that before I can get into a solution, I feel we all need to know about the problem. Now, I won't spend much time on the problem because I want to get to the solution. But if we don't know the problem, we may not even notice it. So, the problem I'm going by today is an issue called unacceptable behaviors. I come from a place to where I am naturally kind. I am naturally a person that cares. I am naturally a person that wants to help, assist, grow, not only within me, but with humanity. Apparently, we're having a lot of problems with issues related to, I hate to say it, it's a pathology, meaning an illness, abuse of narcissistic personality disorder, borderline personality disorders, or just plain pure insanity. My first question to all of us that are watching this video as an empath, light worker, or energy worker, or whatever you call yourself, that has that pure kindness in yourself, and it's very difficult to be mean. It's not within my nature. Um, what I really want to say is, you know, we are lights in a very dark world. We are in what I would consider a spiritual battle. It's a higher consciousness than what I see right in front of me in the physical realm. And it's also hell-bent on killing what we call the emotional body. Now, many people that have been in, let's just use the word abuse, which I feel is very watered down, focus on physical abuse. Now, I have had every aspect of abuse come at me. I suppose it's because of my loving nature. And I don't think like that as to be mean. It does not give anyone any freedom to hurt me, though, as a sovereign being. Okay? So, physical abuse for me, no type of abuse is good. But physical abuse, at least in my world, is called a no-brainer. Okay? If you... Put your hands on me and physically hurt me. And you are a grown adult. And I'm not working in a state institution being paid to protect you from me or anybody. Again, the term is, are you a threat to self or others? Okay. Sometimes I ask myself, is this a threat to myself or to others? It's all about balance. Okay. When I found out that I had codependent tendencies, screw codependency. I call them empathic tendencies, which lead with love and with kindness. And realize that other people don't lead that way. And that it's a part of a bigger agenda to take kind, loving, good, lighted soul people down. I had to get smarter in the 21st century. And that's what I hope I lend to this very quick-ish video. 
Okay. Emotional abuse is when we are put down for having feelings. Have you ever been told, oh my God, you're too sensitive? Really? Hmm. Okay, so why does that bother you that I'm too sensitive? And what makes that okay for you to lock me in a bathroom and yell at me night after night for hours on end because of the fact that I had a difference of opinion, and in this particular case, over whether I came to dinner in my healthy marriage or not, about whether or not the Brussels sprouts would be cold by the time I got there. That doesn't even make sense. That's not even adult behavior. And I think that we've come so far in cognitive dissonance to separate what is grown-up, balanced behavior in humankind and what is insanity. Insanity has become the new normal. However, what really is the new normal would be the kind, loving person attracting other kind, loving people and not allowing anything, anybody to screw with A, my physical body in violence, B, my emotional body in violence, C, my spiritual body in violence, D, my mental ability to be in balance. Anything that is cruel, mean, controlling behavior meant to hurt or inflict pain on another person is no longer acceptable. It disempowers the individual that actually has power or it would not hurt or try to bring it down. I suggest that all of us take the time to get rebalanced, we just hit an equinox, to rebalance and look at, okay, this past year, where have I had good experiences and successes? In this past year, where have I had really not good experiences? Then bring in a neutral experience so we're all kind of fair on it. And what did I do? What could I have done earlier to prevent myself from being tricked into any form of violence at all. I have found that for me, there is some sort of energy on the planet to where there's a mesmerization, kind of a hypnosis, that is very, very tricky. Now, in the 21st century, as freedom warriors, I hate the word warriors, as freedom, open-idead, eclectic, human-loving, grown-up people, that is not acceptable. Period. It creates a extreme trauma that will keep us stuck for years, years, in healing. I am getting older now. My years are numbered and I'm trying to get smarter quicker so that I don't put myself in danger at all. I do know that I'm a spiritual being and that I can kick ass on demons, but at what cost? So much cost. One week of it just recently tore me down physically so I was so exhausted I could not move. I could look at it both ways. It was a win. I know how to fight demons. I didn't believe in demons until this occurred. Okay? However, I do not ever want to be drained of my vital life force ever, ever, ever again. And so with this video, I am opening up to awarenesses of every last one of us that still want to live in a loving, kind society, supportive of each other as we grow in a time of chaos. I believe that I want to have order out of chaos. Chaos is necessary for change. Balanced chaos 
balanced, balanced emotions, clear thinking is imperative in this day and age. I want to suggest that we all separately come into a balanced state of who we are. Because when we go out onto the planet, in whatever way that looks like, even in a mundane ritual such as going shopping, there are entities, there are issues, there are energies that are not for me. And I know this. Therefore, I am trying to learn to avoid being sucked dry of my vital life force energy. Who ever said that I am responsible for fixing anybody, anything? No. First and foremost, I am responsible for me. I am a sovereign being. And secondly, I am responsible to put out a message to those of us that are still working from a place of loving kindness. Both mind, body, spiritually, in love, but to not be so naive that it's a new street smart in the 20th century that there are, I don't know what I want to call it, perhaps energies that do not want the loving kindness agenda to win in whatever this stupid battle is. So I suggest for this video, you take this in, you ask yourself where you are at at every moment, especially in the long lost art of instinct and intuition, because I am truly, truly convinced that at every moment of every encounter, I know when things are not good and I know when things are good and I know there are more times when I need to run. Just saying. Take that in. Come into balance within you yourself so that when, at least for me, when I walk out into a universe filled with insanity, I am so strong within my sovereignty that I know when something is not right, not adding up, called cognitive dissonance. And at this point in time, people, desperate people do desperate things. I advocate that as we come into a more balanced approach to society, I, you, will know when something's off kilter and walk away. We are not here to save the entire planet alone. We are here to put the oxygen mask on ourselves first, to then take it off to save the ones that want to be saved, to put it back on again, to then help ourselves to have more wisdom on this planet as it is today. Banishing any misery or hate and planting the seeds of joy and love that will grow. When we are in balance, we will be drawn to the energies of joy and love. We cannot fix anything unless we ourselves are solid within ourselves. I hope this helped those of us that are struggling those of us that have been scapegoated throughout our lives, those of us that have been made to feel like we owe the world something. I'm not going to be able to help anybody if I don't help me first. You know, selfishness in our society has been demonized. I can demonize anything. So can our society. But what cannot be demonized is my authentic spirit connection with myself, then I have a chance to help anybody else. Peace, more smiles, more dancing.
more fun, more funny, and more pregnant pauses.